Hey guys, this is Peter, and sometimes these things get in a mode, or they get in a funk. I'm going to show you how you can reset it using some factory tools. Hey guys, this is Peter, and sometimes your little set-top box goes haywire, and it really starts to act funky. And, well, people call it bricking the device. Sometimes they just get in a weird mode. This one actually got in a mode that was called Restricted Profile. I was like, what? I can't do what I want to do. Well, I got it out of that profile, and I want to show you how to do it because I run into this all the time. People ask me questions. How can I reset my device? Well, on most devices, you will find a little reset switch, and by most devices, I mean all of them. So hitting that reset switch just simply reboots it. However, on most devices, if you push, let's do it, Push and hold. Keep holding. Keep holding all the way through the boot. So here we go. All right, so it's rebooting, and I'm holding the uh, paper clip in. I'm holding, holding. So during the boot process, it's going to check that button and say, is that button still in? And if so, they're going to say, all right, we're not going to boot any longer. We're going to go to a special recovery mode for Android devices. Here we go. Yeah, Android Recovery. Well, there's a lot you can tell right here. We can see what BIOS version I have. Uh, 2016, 12, 22. So December 22nd, 2016 is when this BIOS was, in, uh, was created. If I'm looking for a newer BIOS, I'm looking for one with a better date than that. Um, also, I want to point out to, this, to you the, uh, the bottom line here. The bottom one in gold, it says, use volume up, down, and power. That's because this, your, your, uh, your remote is going to operate differently. It's not up, down, and click. It's uh, volume up, down. Let's see if that actually works. Yeah, volume up and down, and I hit power to select. Interesting. So you can apply an update from external sources. Here, I'm going to hit power. Or you can actually just hit the back button on most of these. And uh, I can go from a USB drive. I can go from an SD card. But we're not going to do that because you could actually make things worse. All that I'm going to try to show you how to do today is reset it back to factory. And that's a great setting. So here we go. Data factory reset. Done. Do I really want to do this? Yes. All right. So we see the little Android guy working. It's formatting the data and it's formatting the cache. It's completely empty. Now, before you reboot, sometimes it's good to uh, mount the system. I found that that sometimes helps. Uh, reboot bootloader. All right, let's see if it comes up. Sometimes it will get stuck. That's OK. You can unplug it, you can plug it back in, you can go back to that bootloader screen. Here we go. The important thing is to know that you can recover. There are some tools that are built into this, some, some modes. And this is a good one. Okay, this looks like it's stuck. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the device. I'm going to re-attempt to do this. I'm going to hold it in just for fun. I was hitting those other buttons trying to, uh, to avoid this, but sometimes it takes two boots. That's the way it is. I've even had to take three boots. There we go. All right, so we're back to this screen, eh? Uh, so I wiped the data, wiped trash partition, I mounted the system. I've already, it really didn't matter the order that I did it. I know someone's going to say, hey, you should have hit this button. It's like, no. It, sometimes it even requires a power cycle, which means you actually unplug it, plug it back in. Let's see if we get lucky.
All right, I've got the device right here. I'm pulling power. All right, so I just applied power with the pin already held down. That's actually the way that a lot of these manuals say to do it. Let's see, so. All right, unplug. See if we can get this in a better mode. So the interesting thing is I was in the restricted profile mode, and when I went and looked online, I saw there were a lot of people that got to that restricted profile mode and couldn't get out of it. Their device was effectively bricked at that point. Well, this enabled me to get it back out of that mode and back to booting again, just like it came straight from the factory. Now, with some of the darkness issues and stuff, I wanted to, there we go, we're all good. I wanted to try some of the newer firmware, but I'm going to leave that for the next video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, please click the like button. And uh, if you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the